So you were married. How long have you been divorced? Um, three years. He cheated. He had a baby with a co-worker. Mm. Do you think he was a good man? No. If he would have never cheated, would you thought he was a good man? Um, no. <laughs> you want to know why men or you you're asking about the fact that men don't really know how to handle or keep a really good woman right. okay what so you were married how long have you been divorced um three years okay how long were you married six years married six years okay um who filed? I did. What was the reason? Your reason? Um, he cheated. He had a baby with a co-worker. Mm. Did he ever tell you why he cheated? Um, no. But, um, not really. Mm. Do you think he was a good man? No. If he would have never cheated, would you thought he was a good man? Um, no. <laughs> wait, 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 did you just hear yourself? Yes. Okay. I mean, I know you, it doesn't. Okay. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You just said that if he never cheated, you still would not have thought he was a good man. So now we got to go back to your decision making because you're the one who said, I do. You're the one who chose to give this man your body for six years. So we got to figure out what's going on with you, Miss... Uh, is it Yady? Yes, JD. JD? Okay, Miss JD. We got to figure out what's going on with your decision making. Why are you falling in love with no good men and marrying them? Let's hear it. I agree. Um, Let's hear it. Go ahead. I think that I was in um, evaluating correctly what was the values that I would, that I really wanted in a man mm. and I got persuaded by the wrong impressions so I will take like what like of what that. like what I don't know charming and mm. attentive at the time I don't like superficial things that go away that are not so substantial for a relationship mm. that's why you're here now and you're trying to make your presence known to guru to see if there's a spark. Well, hmm. no, I was just um, uh, yeah okay. showing my appreciation, but <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Uh, is that the only guy that you've ever chosen in your life that has been like that that you thought was no good? Yeah. So the rest of the men that you chose were good, except for him. Well, I haven't really been in a relationship after. Um, How about before? I, about b before? Before him? Yeah, they were good guys. How old were you when you got married? 23. Hmm. How many boyfriends did you have before that? Two. Before him? Two? How many partners have you had? Six. In intimate. Six partners? Yeah. When was the last one? Um, maybe like a year ago. Mm. Why didn't that work out? Why did it work out? Yeah. Or it didn't? Why did it not work out? Um, I think he wasn't ready for... Uh, so all these men are not ready for a real woman, but you, but here's the thing I want you to think about this for a minute. 
I, I found something captivating what you said. You said that a lot of men don't know how to handle and are, they're not ready for a real woman. That's why we got down this rabbit hole, right? Yeah. But then when we questioned you as to why you married your ex-husband, you said, based on yourself, the same thing that you accused the men of. You weren't mature enough. You weren't making, you weren't choosing the man and the husband based off of the right things. You chose them based on the wrong reasons. So the very thing that you accuse men of is what you do. I did. Well, you did it with the last guy too? No, I like the last guy. He was a good guy? Yeah. Why did it not work out again? Um... I don't know. He said he needed to, um, he's more business focused, I guess. And he didn't see the value in you as a wife. I guess. Did you put marriage up front? See, this is a lot of things that y'all don't do anymore. Did you make marriage a priority from the beginning? Yeah. How soon did y'all have uh, intimacy after you met him? Um, Three months. Three months and then intimate. And how long were y'all together? Um, for about three years, I saw him. How in the hell did you make marriage a priority then? You're not making sense. <laughs> If marriage was a priority and you were with him for three years, no way. Well, I thought he, he, I felt like he kept telling me that he needed to figure out some things and um, he was working on his business, which I saw him being occupied with. So I trusted that. Y'all need a lot of work and a lot of help. You need to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. You definitely need to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. You need some help. Listen, y'all really don't know how to talk to men. Y'all don't know how to prioritize marriage. Y'all just be out here with these guys based off of a good feeling, a vibe. Do I give you a good vibe? Do I give you a good feeling? Yeah, okay. Mm. What does that mean? It means that... Um, so that tells me a lot already. You seem like you're honest and very direct, so I like that you will speak your mind. That would not be an issue. Okay. So that tells me a lot already because as a woman, you should be looking at... First of all, you should be looking at things like my character, my consistency, uh, the way that I... Uh, deal with people the way that I handle myself, right? You should be looking at these things and making a determination. But what you're probably doing right now, the reason why I, I asked you that is because when you women say, are you okay? Or you're okay? When y'all say something like that about a man that you really aren't paying attention to in the with the other factors, it's because I have not sweet talked you enough yet. But I guarantee you, if I was on here sweet talking you and making you feel good, you would you would start smiling and say yes. You you really give me that good energy, a good vibe. I know I've done it numerous times on my platforms over the last two plus years. Well, I believe you. I just don't know you like that. So exactly. All right. Well, we'll see about you behind the scenes. Watch right. this. Let let's see what happens. She look. She's smiling. She think that she probably think I'm gonna message her. Okay, uh, have a good night. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Bye. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.